Do you want to set Spotify songs as a ringtones? Hello friends, I am Carly. In this video, I will show simple and easy steps. So, let's watch the video till the end. In the first step, create a shortcut. To do so, launch the Shortcuts app on your iPhone. Next, tap on the plus icon in the upper right corner. After that, rename the shortcut so it is easy to find. On this page, tap the circular arrow next to the shortcut's name and then select the rename option. Now, type the shortcut name with the iPhone keyboard. Look at my screen as an example, I am writing audio converter. Afterward, return to the shortcuts page and press and hold the audio converter. Select details. Over here, turn on the toggle next to show in the share sheet and click the done button. Please hit on the option next to receive. Click on the clear option in the upper left corner. Then, enable the toggle next to media. Now, what you need to do, go to search actions and type in code media. And then select it. On this screen, tap the circular arrow next to the shortcut input. Then, turn the trigger on next to the audio only option. Now, tap on search actions and search save. After getting this, click on it and tap on the drop-down arrow. Now, please enable the toggle next to ask where to save, and click the Done button. OK, now go to the second step. Record Spotify song. You can record the song or download it from third-party apps. Here, I am recording the song on my iPhone via screen recording. Launch the Spotify app. Find, play, and record the music you want to set as a ringtone. Keep in mind that the maximum ringtone length for an iPhone is 30 or less seconds. Record accordingly, and you'll be fine. Create a folder in the Files app. Now, launch the Files app on your iPhone. Click the three dots in the upper right corner. Select a new folder and rename it appropriately. Then, close the Files app and open the screen recording. To do so, launch the Photos app on your iPhone. Open the recorded song. Now, tap the share icon at the bottom right corner to open the share sheet and then select audio converter. Your iPhone redirects you to the files app. Tap open. Now, let's move to the next step. Use GarageBand to edit and export. Go to the iPhone home screen and find and launch the GarageBand app. Spotlight search is an ideal way to find an app. Now, tap on the plus icon at the upper right side. Tap Audio Recorder. Swipe left or right to find the option. Once you are done, tap the metronome icon to turn it off. After that, click on the brick icon at the top right corner. Now, hit on the little plus icon located on the right side of the track. Once you tap on it, select Section A and turn off the toggle next to Automatic. Next. Change the manual length up to 30. Tap on Add. After that, tap on the loop icon on the upper right side. Select Files and tap on Browse Items from the Files app. Now, find and locate the audio clip file. As you can see, tap on Browse, select My iPhone, tap on Folder for Audio Clips, and select the media file. Then, select and import the file in GarageBand. Tap the play button at the top to listen to it and cut the track if needed. If you're done, tap the down arrow at the upper right corner and select my songs. Once your song is saved to GarageBand, press and hold on to it to view the options. Rename the file if you want to change the file name. Press and hold on to it to view the options. And select share. As you can see here, your iPhone asks you to choose a proper format and select the ringtone option. After that, tap on continue. Now you can see the export ringtone page. Rename the ringtone name and tap the export button at the top right corner. Wait for a while to complete the export process. Then, tap OK. Use settings app. Now, Launch the Settings app on your iPhone and scroll the screen to Sounds and Haptics. Click on the Ringtone section and select the song. And there you go. This way you can set Spotify songs as a ringtones. I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.
Please like and subscribe to our channel for the latest tips and tricks videos.